in this lecture we will discuss about a circuit in which we have a super node and we will learn how to solve a network with super node using nodal analysis so our purpose is to determine the current through all the resistances using nodal analysis in the circuit shown below so this particular circuit is the case of super node generally as of now till now we have seen the electrical circuits in which we have uh, some resistances connected in series with the voltage sources right so if we encounter uh, an electric circuit in which we have only uh, a, in which we have a branch in which we have only a voltage source and we have to solve that network using nodal analysis to so how to solve such network because it is not that convenient to use nodal analysis on such network directly right so this particular part is the super node basically this is uh, the super node so this is super node okay so solving an electrical network in which we have super node is um, as simple as we have a network without super node so there is no no much difference the only difference is that in an in an electrical network which has super node we will consider both the terminals where voltage source is connected as same so so we'll take these two terminals as same i'll uh, let us discuss this one so uh, this is let us say uh, junction 1 and here we have that voltage source plus and minus and then we have junction 2 right so this is two volt source basically and these two junctions will be assumed as a one junction one node now let us uh, um, understand this numerical okay so uh, in this numerical we will uh, you know do the same thing we will identify the junctions basically so there is let us say this is a junction 1 uh, this is junction 1 here this one this is junction 1 this is junction 2 right and then let us say this is voltage v1 at this particular junction and we have the voltage v2 at this particular junction right then we will assume the same currents here also let us say this is i1 this is current i2 and there is no current in this particular branch okay here we will not uh, here no current right we will not assume any current here right so here we will take uh, sorry <clears throat> Uh, we will uh, take the current as let us say it is i3 and this is let us say it is i4 so <clears throat> so that means these two junctions are same so we will write here junction 1 and 2 are taken as one super node uh, or you can say not super node one Uh, principal node or independent node uh, it is taken as one independent node uh, known as super node right so let us see how to solve such network now in such in this network we will apply because we have taken these two nodes as the same node so we will apply kcl now apply kcl at this super node let us apply kcl here so uh, the summation of incoming currents is equal to summation of outgoing current this is what kcl state right so now as we can see in this particular network uh, this i1 current is coming to this particular junction and all these currents are leaving the junction basically okay i2 i3 i4 all are leaving the junction so we'll write it here uh, we'll write that equation i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 plus i4 now uh, this is let us say equation number 1 now in this um, now we'll take it take 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 this here uh, we'll and uh, we'll, we'll see um, the values of the currents from this uh, circuit diagram 
uh, i1 is basically equal to 3 ampere okay this is 3 ampere i2 is moving from uh, junction 1 to uh, the ground junction this is junction 3 here right it is at 0 volt okay so <clears throat> this is at 0 volt now uh, i3 is also flowing from v2 uh, junction 2 to ground and i4 is flowing in this direction this is i4 which is matching with 2 ampere so i4 is 2 ampere i3 is 3 ampere uh, not i3 sorry uh, i1 is 3 ampere right okay so now let us write these equations here so i1 is uh, 3 ampere i2 is v1 divided by 2 plus i3 is uh, no what is i3 i3 is I know this is I3 here, V2 divided by uh, 1 ohm, right? Okay, so let us write this equation, V2 uh, divided by 1. And what is I4? It is 2 ampere, right? So uh, this is 2 ampere, right? Now let us simplify this equation. We have V1 plus 2, V2 plus 4 is equal to 6. And V1 plus 2, V2 is equal to 2. So this is, let us say, equation number two. Now, now if we see, okay, now if we see uh, these two terminals, so let us draw these two terminals separately. Okay, now this is your junction one. Here we have the voltage source plus and minus, and then we have junction two. So the voltage at junction one is V1 and voltage at junction two is V2. So this is V2. Now this is two volt source. So since V1 is at positive terminal and V2 is, or the, you can say junction two is connected at negative terminal. So we'll write V1 minus V2 is equal to two volt. So this is basically the uh, equation of this particular branch where we have only the voltage source, right? So this is let us equation number three. Now we have these two equations here, equation two and equation three. So we can solve these two equations. That is equation two and equation three to determine v1 and v2 right so let us solve these two equations now we have v1 plus 2 v2 is equal to 2 this is equation number 2 and v1 minus v2 is equal to 2 this is equation number 3 right now we'll solve them minus plus and minus so this is cancelled out here so this is also cancelled out so 3 v2 is equal to 0 or v2 is equal to 0 okay hence v1 is equal to 2 volt right so now we have got these equations now using these equations okay now using the values of v1 and v2 we can find out the values of all currents as shown in the diagram okay so what do we have we have uh, your i2 which is equal to v2 divided by 2 ohm so i2 is uh, sorry, not V2, it is uh, V1. So V1 divided by 2, so V1 is 4, uh, 2 volts, sorry. So it is 2, so it is 1 ampere. That is 1 ampere, right? So now let us say I3, I3 is V2 divided by 1, V2 is 0, Y1, so it is 0 ampere. Okay. So these are the answers. Now, what did we do? We simply take taken uh, these two junctions, basically one and two, because they are having one voltage source only in between them. Uh, 
so these two junctions are taken as one junction okay now <clears throat> they are taken as one junction and that is how we applied kcl here and we determine the value of all the currents and junction voltages now this i3 is zero is zero why because this v2 is zero and this is a junction 3 is also at zero so 2 and 3 are at zero volt so there is no potential difference and hence no potential difference no current so we'll write it properly so no potential difference okay so it is as simple as that okay so uh, this is how we can solve any network using nodal analysis in which we have a super node basically and super node is that uh, you know branch in which we only have the voltage source connected in a network we do not have any other uh, you know resistive or any other element connected in that particular branch in series with the voltage source right so this is it for today's lecture guys thank you so much